Doctor Strange is the new film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and is of course based off Stan Lee and Steve Ditko's comic book character. It stars Benedict Cumberbatch as the Doctor himself, Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One, and Chiwetel Ejiofor as Mordo, along with Matt Mickelson as the villain, Cassilius. To start off, I want to say how Doctor Strange is one significant quality that most Marvel adaptations lack. A sense of humour about itself, which it wears as lightly as the Cloak of Levitation. The thing about Doctor Strange, he's actually a minor character in the comics. He's no Captain America, no Spider-Man, or freaking Iron Man. But while he does have his own fan base, he's not forced to carry the childhood memories of millions of grown men on his shoulders. When we first meet Doctor Strange, he's not strange, just a glamorous, arrogant neurosurgeon with ironically crippled hands after a car crash. No amount of therapy or experimental surgeries will fix them. Then he learns of a paraplegic who is mysteriously able to walk again, and after seeking him out, Strange is directed to Kamataj, a secret place near Kathmandu, where he may finally be able to fix his hands. There he meets the enigmatic Mordo, who introduces him to the Ancient One. She agrees to help Strange unlock a shit ton of mystical secrets that will allow him to return to his old life. But of course as a catch, before our Doctor can actually return to his old life, he must face off against the evil Cassilius and dodge the wrath of the not so easily amused sorcerer librarian, Wong. What a cool name, Wong. Good old Wong! The film is visually beautiful, some of its effects are insanely trippy but wondrous. The Ancient One teaches Strange how to create currents of orange energy from his fingertips that can create portals. I can see how the film took the idea of Inception's folding Paris and expands into a series of dazzling kaleidoscopic effects. However, as amazing as they are the first and second time you see them, they feel overused by the end of the film. The villain, played by Matt Mickelson, has a conflict with Strange throughout the movie that begins to feel noisily routine and Marvel-like near the end though it comes out of a pretty good twist to recapture our interest. Altogether, I'm giving Sherlock Holmes' new movie an 8 out of 10. So, if you liked, please like and subscribe for more, and join me soon for an Infinite Warfare review and a Guardians of the Galaxy review, because I really like that movie. It's really good, so I want to do a review on it. So, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.